chest and the heart too. So that's kind of a nice segue to our, our third icon here, and that's a sore throat. This is so annoying to me. This is the worst symptom of a, of a cold and the flu. It's because it hurts, it's painful. You don't want to talk to anybody. You might not even want to eat or drink. Oh, so some of my tips and tricks for that, one of them is what we just talked about with the hot beverages. Hot beverages, especially teas and broths, are mucolytic. So when we come to a, a sore throat, oftentimes it's sore because there's mucus there and that's the bacteria starting to clump up and that's the body trying to get rid of the bacteria. So mucolytic means something that kills off mucus. Hot beverages are mucolytic. So a nice hot tea, a nice hot broth can help to decrease mucus in the throat and it's also very soothing. So hot teas, hot broths are your friend and they're also helpful for the fever aspect as well. These are there throughout the sore throat and the congestion i'm going to give some tried and true things you might have heard of but for the sake of this talk i'd like to also offer pieces that maybe you haven't heard of before things tips and tricks that are unique so one of the things you might have heard of is hot water with lemon and honey it's golden it's an absolutely tried and true way to soothe the sore throat Two pieces that are extra helpful with the, the honey and the lemon. The lemon is high in vitamin C. So vitamin C is one of those other tried and true things you might've heard of. It decreases the severity and length of a cold or a flu. So increasing your vitamin C during this time is incredibly helpful, including with hot lemon water. The honey is additionally helpful because it has some probiotics in it that are helpful for soothing the, the throat, first of all, but also helping to support the immune system to get rid of bad bacteria. So we often forget about honey, or at least I do, when I think of all of these other herbs that I could use, all of this, this armory of natural medications. But honey is simple, it's affordable, it's easy to find, and it's incredibly powerful. So don't forget about honey. Hot water with lemon, one of my favorites. Second favorite for a sore throat is throat coat tea. This you can find at grocery stores. It's already in a pre-packaged tea bag. It's delicious. It has a few herbs in it, some, some of them antibacterial, so that's extra nice. But the, the main herbs are soothing, soothing agents. So pieces that will soothe the rawness of the sore throat. A lot of them are, um, I'm blanking on the, the medical term for it right now, but marshmallow and licorice and pieces that are, are very soothing. Demulsants, that's the word. So pieces that help keep the, the throat nice and coated, but also can decrease some of the, the pain in the throat too. Another one of my favorites, my absolute favorites for sore throat specifically is fire cider. So if you turn to the back of your handout or the second page of your handout, I gave you my recipe for fire cider. Fire cider is an ancient folk medicine. It's made with chopping up very antimicrobial herbs like horseradish and ginger and onion and garlic and putting them all in a large vat. I usually use a mason jar with apple cider vinegar. Close the jar and let it sit for six weeks. So usually I like to make mine in November so that I have it brewed and it sits for six weeks so that I can use it in December, you know, right around the time that people are getting sick. So fire cider, is incredibly potent in antimicrobials. You're letting it ferment for about six weeks. So all of these antimicrobials are, are brewing and getting more potent. And then after those six weeks, you strain the fire cider, keep it in a jar, through, you know, compost all the, the extra herbs or veggies. And all you need is about 
uh, two tablespoons, about a shot worth of fire cider when you're feeling that your throat is sore. Two bits of warning for the fire cider. When you're making it, please, please, please don't touch your eyes while you're chopping up these, these herbs and vegetables. They will knock your socks off. They are incredibly potent, especially the horseradish. And I usually recommend people doing um, some peppers in there too, because it helps to build heat and it helps with the, the antimicrobial piece. So don't touch your eyes while you're making it. Second piece is once it's strained, you'll keep it in a cool, dark place. Sometimes people like to keep it in the fridge. I prefer keeping it just on the shelf. It's it's quite fine to, to keep it on the shelf and then it's more room temperature when you, when you um, swallow it and that can be more palatable on the throat. It doesn't taste great keep that in mind. So many people or a few of my patients have been so excited when I prescribe them fire cider because they think that I'm prescribing an alcoholic beverage or um, something that is going to be very tasty. It's not. It's it's medicinal in its truest form and it it tastes fine um, but it it does it's not delicious. So keep that in mind. It is incredibly helpful, specific for the sore throat. It will help with other aspects of a cold too, especially some sinus congestion, maybe a little bit of um, post-nasal drip, but um, mostly for the sore throat. So that's my absolute favorite. One other um, piece that I'd like to, to give a plug for, and I have no affiliation with these companies, but they are very, very well-renowned uh, herb companies are Herb Farm and Wise Woman Herbals. They have a throat spray. Their throat sprays have antimicrobial and antiviral properties in them. So if you're feeling very sore in the throat, like it's sore to, to drink and talk and maybe even affecting your sleep, I'd recommend those. They have painkillers in them too. So it can help to take away some of that that irritation, especially if it's affecting your sleep. So Wise Woman Herbals and Herb Farm, that's farm with a PH. They have two throat sprays or throat mists that are that are helpful for bacteria and colds. So let's go to the fourth piece of the handout for congestion.